There have been many film editors throughout the years who have been influential, like Sally Minkie and Barbara McLean. Today, however, we're going to be looking at the woman who has been editing all of Martin Scorsese's films since Raging Boy in 1980, Thelma Schoonmaker. First, we'll look at the film that won her the Academy Award for editing, Raging Bull. Raging Bull is based off professional boxers Jake LaMotta's memoir and Shoemaker's edit and helps tell the story in an appropriate way. An example of this are the boxing scenes. Depending on where they are taking place, they are edited to reflect this. For example, during the sick fight, no announcers can be heard only music, and the editing is very quick, giving the audience no doubt that Jake will win the fight. In contrast, during the final fight, the shots lose any sense of continuity in time. Camera flashes obscure the action, regular cuts between normal motion, slow motion shots and the 180 degree rule is broken. This all creates a sense of distortion leading to the end of Jake's boxing career. This is complete contrast to The Irishman, which is a more quiet film. Marty had a very strong conception for it right from the beginning, that he wanted it to be quiet, that he wanted it to not explain too much, and he didn't want it to feel like a documentary about a hitman. For example, Look at the scene where the feds are talking to Frank and inform him that everybody he spent his life protecting is dead. There's no shouting, there's no drama or tension, and there's no music. Just the sad reality that Frank has wasted most of his life. Cancer. Everybody's dead, Mr. Sheeran. Marty just had an idea that it was, should be very stripped down and simple, deceptively simple, because the mafia guys in the movie are quiet. In contrast, Raging Bull is a very loud film, as evidenced by this scene. Oh, you're supposed to be a manager. You're supposed to know what you're doing. I did just what I wanted to do. That's what I'm worried about. You, did it. you want a title shot? What are you talking You want a title what, what shot? Is, what am I in? What, what am I in? A circus over here? I asked him, he's got more sense about this. What are you You've doing? You've been killing yourself for three years now, right? There's nobody left for you to fight. Everybody's afraid to fight you. Okay, along comes this kid, Gennaro. He don't know any better. He's a young kid, up and coming, and fight anybody. Good, you fight him. Bust his hole. Tear him apart, right? What are you worried about? What's the biggest thing you got to worry about? The weight. about the weight. You worried about the weight? What are we arguing about for? I just said the weight. Okay, let's say you lose because of your weight. Are they gonna think you're not as tough as you were? You're not the same fighter? The way that film with Shoemaker's edited this scene, by showing the characters almost always talking on camera on and off, and by come between still shots, this allows the viewer to focus on the drama and not get distracted by anything at all. Okay. Even Scorsese gave up on this one and walked out and uh, I just kept plugging away at it until I got it. But what rich material I'm working with, I'm very lucky. It's just plugging away at it and that's part of your job as an editor. It can be, patience is one of the most important things in editing, I think. Um, and you just have to keep trying until you get there. In conclusion, Thelma Schoonmaker is one of the greatest editors of all time. Her editing is amazing, she has edited some amazing films, and her legacy will never be forgotten by anyone, especially film editors.